Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna K. Delahaye from the blog whosofdelahaye.com and in this video I'll be reviewing the Fujifilm 35mm 1.4 lens. I will be going over the features of this lens and showing you some images that I've captured using this lens on my X-T2 body. So if you like the sounds of that, stick around. The lens delivers images with amazing clarity, even with the aperture wide open at 1.4, which is great for low lighting situations. With this lens, you're able to achieve beautiful bokeh in the out of focus areas while still keeping the subject sharp and in focus. The Fuji 35mm lens is equivalent to a 53mm on a full frame. It's also the, a similar focal length to that of the human eye. The 35mm 1.4 lens is actually one of Fuji's oldest prime, coming out around 2012, and speaks volume to Fuji's craftsmanship and their product line. The Fujifilm 35mm lens is made out of metal and high quality plastic, so it feels robust and durable in my hands. The aperture and focus rings are smooth and easy to use. And with this lens weighing six and a half ounces, it gets 10 across the board from me for durability, build quality, size, and ease of use. The 35 millimeter lens comes with a metal hood and actually takes a 52 millimeter filter thread if you're looking to get one. You can actually pick this lens up brand new for 569 pounds or you can snag a secondhand one for just under 300 pounds and this is a secondhand one that i picked up at the london camera exchange but i know you can find these on amazon or b and or your local photography store so the only thing that i would say that is the only negative that i have for this lens is that it's not weather seal so i am very careful if it starts raining or anything like that outside to protect it and i don't try to take it into like torrential rain or something like that so that's the my only downside is that this lens is not weather seal but other from that i don't really have any complaints i've been shooting with this little lens for over two years and it's been fantastic so far i find that the 35 millimeter lens plus my xt2 body is a great combo if i want to shoot discreetly but get beautiful images especially if i'm doing street photography i've um, done street walks with a lot of london uh, street photographers and basically they all have the 35 on their body um, normally they have the 35.2 um, on their body but this is a great little lens if you're into street photography it produces a lot of amazing images and is super sharp open wide so I'm going to show you some images on my computer of um, just a, just randomly walking around London shooting things but in raw and you will see how super detailed and super sharp this lens is open wide some of these photos photos were shot um, at 1.4 and they are incredibly sharp the color the color of the images are beautiful straight out the gate without any editing without nothing done to them they are just raw from the body and like this is what one of the reasons why I love this little lens the color it produces and the sharpness Oh, mama is beautiful so let me show you um, on my computer some of the images that I captured raw so you can see for yourself how beautiful the color the color the bokeh everything is just superb like legit amazing so let's get into it so as you can see here guys I'm trying to I was capturing this guy with the pride flag it was like a um, pride day in London and we were just walking around Soho. If you know this bit of London, you know this is Soho. And I was, we were walking around Soho. I didn't realize that actually that day was the Pride Parade. So that was a great, that was a great way to test this um, the 35 out in street photography because there was lots of people there, um, really interesting people, you know, really ready for the ninth. And as you can see, like the the color, I'll just go in here and everything the color and this is a raw file so you can see all the colors is had and then you can see the bokeh like you can still see all the people but it's not distracted he is very much separated from what's happening in the, in the background and as you can see a lot was happening in the background but you can still pick him out and you can still get the like how clear this guy and the flag is and the crispness of the color you can see this is another photo of the same guy again he just turned his head around and I'm shooting this at 1.6 and this is how amazing like 
detail like his glasses you can even see that he was wearing um ray-bans so that's how like sharp and detailed that you can get like even at a 1.6 for this lens it's really spectacular like the stuff that you can see this is another photo i love of this guy in his red um like onesie and his is like body body polka dot body suit like he was ready um and as you can see and again this is raw guys and look at the color just look at the detailing and the color on this guy like everything is whole and it's sharp look how beautiful like and this is one of my favorite photos because it's so sharp and the color of what he was wearing is so bright everything was like came together so beautifully like and i just love how it's frame he's walking and then you can see these two people out of focus because i was trying to get the guy but i um i was trying to get him but these people were in front of me so i like they were also in my photo but i think it adds to a really nice framing here and you can see the color the color of the the pub in the background as well with him and and i just love it this guy was ready for the nines um, and this is he's like this is one of my favorite photos and again look at the this is the same guy at 1.6 look how beautiful this is look how sharp you can even see me in his glasses because he was just like posing and have a cigarette um and you can see that it's like super everything is sharp obviously down at the bottom is for is out of focus but like his whole face was what i was aiming at is like is in is totally sharp um and yeah it's one of my favorite photos i don't know i love it because the color the red and this kind of darker blue um in the background is really really nice and then i did another shot with the same guy and this is at 1.6 again but look you can even like this is why i really love this lens you know if you notice you can even see his beard like sticking out the air of his beard like sticking out through the material of what he's wearing and like the smoke in like the smoke in the in the photo and you can see the beautifulness of the background and i'm like oh like when you that's why i said when you start shooting with this lens it makes you it hypes you up it makes you excited to shoot you're like oh my god i want people to be in the street so i can shoot them because it's just it produces such a beautiful image the color you cannot deny this that this color it's beautiful it's rich it's vivid and it's telling a story it's one of my um basically one of my favorite photos um, ever is of this guy i don't know why i just love how everything about it the color the positioning everything and then again this is this lady and this is at point two so this is the 35 at two um f stop of two and again she's like beautifully framed she was just sitting outside and you can see everything is blurred out but her face everything and this is how sharp and i was some distance away from her and she was like yes queen she had her button on and look how beautiful she looks like the detailing like the her hair everything was so impeccably detailed um that this lens captured and i was like oh my god i saw her and i was like oh my god this lady is beautiful and this camera just really shows how impeccable she looked on the day and it just everything was captured the lines on her face like it's just amazing and this was at two um an f-stop of two so again you see it's it was getting slightly darker and then again this guy with the beers beard and he was looking fabulous and look how like you can see his eyes and the detailing like you can't deny that this everything was captured by this lens and it was really beautiful like the sequence on his jacket so beautiful um, and then I'll just go to another image and I really like these girls um, because again this was this was harsh daylight and I was shooting at an aperture of um, 2.0 and this group of photos is one of my my favorites because this was just i was just shooting whatever whatever pe person walked by me <laughs> and the folk autofocus on the lens was super quick because people were parting moving by you so quickly that to capture them the autofocus had to really lock onto them and capture and it's under harsh sunlight 
and this is beautiful i love how the color came out these two girls were like sh like in focus um and just the just the expression on their face can you just imagine horse sunlight midday um, lots of people around and at an aperture of 2.0 like the this is how beautiful they came out like these girls like you can tell you can see the curls or her lipstick everything that's how beautiful the, the expression on this one's face and it's like oh my god everything was so like so sharp and and this is the color out of the lens this is the this is the color like there's no edits to this there's no nothing this is how rich and vibrant the colors that you get from this lens are just out the gate you're like uh should i edit them i'll just look at them in raw like this forever so this is um why i really love the lens and i don't again I, as i said i don't know what fuji is doing in their labs with this color science but they are hitting it on the nail every time like everyone's skin tone is beautiful and it looks real um like the color is true to life when you see it with your eyes and it's just imp incredible to see like this lens really gives you that vibe of real life and then this is another photo i like of 50 and i just want to say again this is at two so it's not all the way wide open but just just it just see how detailed like on her face the rainbow colors and like everything on even her eyelash everything here is like in it's like sharp and it's beautiful it's not harsh and again this is like harsh lighting and look how soft her face looks she looks beautiful and again they were just walking by so you're just capturing you basically you're doing street photography with this lens and i think this lens is a really great street photography lens because it really captures the subject it's pin sharp even when it's open wide and it's fair it's very flattering i find that this is a very flattering um, lens especially on like facial features it, it doesn't like warp your features and make them look a bit abnormal that some like I know wide angle lens can make make you look like that but this I find it one of the most flattering like focal points and flattering lenses um, so yeah and then you can get out of focus stuff like this where the tip of the flag is like super sharp and like these people are just like a bit blurry in the background and this was at 1.8 um so you just you see like you can get a variety in mood and again all these photos are unedited guys and like they were like when i was shooting i was like oh my god this lens is beautiful again another girl and this is shot at 2.2 and again she is in focus but like as you can see the street was quite busy but i still wanted to get her like um capture her um and then this is again one of my this is one of my favorites i love these guys um he was like yes he was ready and you can see and this is at two so you can really see like the color everything you can see the confetti on the ground like it's such it was such a beautiful um image to capture because everyone was just walking was just having a fabulous time and again even at two and i was some distance away from them everything beautiful everything like in focus it it's just really i think this lens is really great for street photography even wide open you can get some really fantastic images so like this is what you can do with this lens out the gate and this is the color and quality that you're getting um, so just imagine when you edit your images from this lens how beautiful they will be i hope you like this review of the fujifilm 35 millimeter 1.4 lens and that you found it valuable it, it kind of made you decide if you would like to get this lens or not and also see some of the spectacular images that this lens produced if you like that and if you think this video was of any value please give me a thumbs up guys <laughs> subscribe um, because i'm coming out with more fuji film reviews and also check out some of my travel videos if you're interested or check out my blog but please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell give me a like as well a girl needs it guys i need it um, and thank you for your time see you in the next video